judge's decision today? No comment at this time. Kent Mawinney and his attorneys tight-lipped leaving Stanford Superior Court. In the courtroom, Mawinney's attorneys claiming compliance with bond guidelines, deep ties to Connecticut, experience in jail, and multiple known trips to Florida and returning with no issues were grounds to grant this motion. The removal of the bracelet is not something that Your Honor needs to be concerned about in terms of him fleeing because of his strong ties to the community here as well as his steadfast compliance with all of the conditions of release over the past seven months. He hasn't been able to work in almost a year and a half since January 2020, and that has created financial issues for Mr. Moway. Kent Mowinney's attorneys filed a motion to have his ankle bracelet removed so that he could fulfill a job opportunity refereeing hockey so he could wear a hockey skate. That motion was denied. The problem is that the bracelet that he has on his ankle does not allow him to put on hockey skates. If he can't put on hockey skates, he cannot referee hockey games. And so that's the reason we've uh, filed this motion asking the court to enter an order that allows the bracelet to be removed from his ankle. Michelle Traconis' attorneys filed a motion to have her ankle bracelet removed, which was also denied, which Mawinney's attorneys say she has a much bigger flight risk than Mawinney. She does not have the strong or really very strong ties to Connecticut that Mr. Mawinney does. She's not a lifelong Connecticut resident. She wasn't raised in Connecticut. And certainly her connections to Connecticut, uh, as I understand it, seem to be related to some of the circumstances that led to her arrest uh, itself. The state had a much different perspective, citing the motion should be denied. He did not mention um, one other distinguishing ground which weighs heavily against the defendant's motion in this case, which is that whereas uh, his co-defendant has no prior criminal record or pending matters, this is uh, Mr. Mawinney's third felony arrest within the preceding two years. Um, all cases the state submit uh, reflect very serious charges. Felony charges including felony sexual assault and violation of protective orders. I think the um, GPS bracelet is a small inconvenience um, in comparison to the uh, bigger issue here, what charges are currently pending. So I, I do find that, um, that the continued imposition of the GPS monitoring is necessary and appropriate under these circumstances. So your motion is denied, but, but I don't believe that under the totality of the circumstances there's enough of a reason for this court to remove at the end of the hearing, Kent Mawinney himself speaking out to the judge, expressing concern to which his attorney chimed in. Your Honor, the discovery has not been complied with. I asked for a list of witnesses, and I have not received that today. Well, we state has not finalized its witness list. It was my understanding it was filed in August of last year. Yes, right. sir. yes, Your Honor. A status conference has been scheduled to address this request for July 27th before his next pretrial meeting. We'll, of course, keep you up to date with the latest information on air, online, and on the Fox 61 News app. In Stamford, Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News.